That was one clean new intro. Anyways, welcome back to Week in Review, where we recap all the awesome things that happened in Zengi's Beyblade channel throughout the week, and let us get started. So to do a recap of what happened, we first started off with an awesome old gen battle with uh, Burst. It was the Drace Hill Bay against the Burst Bay. Then after that, we did a really cool battle with uh, Spin Fighters. It was um, the two Spin Fighters that came from the set versus um, each other. Then after versus um, the G Revolution uh, Blaze Liger. After that, it was an update for the Burst app. We showed it off. We showed off all the new features that it has and we were really excited for it. Then right after that, Genbei was announced, a new online community and a really awesome service to any fans of Beyblade Burst. Then after that, uh, we covered some more news involving um, new products like uh, Fidgetits. And we also did a little uh, fan battles with the actual Burst app update. I added a lot of codes. It's very uh, laggy. I still had a lot of fun with it. Then right after that, we did a fake versus real with Zillion Zeus explaining not to buy the product, educational video. Then after that, we did a hunting, and it was really unbelievable that we actually found a Rift Fire Kerbius. Like, it's extremely hard to find it anywhere. Let's see who will win for battle two. Will it be Drisil or will it be the Nova Neptune? Our winner is Drusil, the two to nothing with spin finish. We're gonna battle three. Battle three. Drusil. Let's see who win for this battle. Nova Neptune or Drusil? Which bay will win? Let's see who will win. Come on, Drusil. Oh. Hey, Drusil wins. Three, three to nothing. Well, I mean, let's just see who win in the fans round. Even though Drusil got three points. Fans round? Seal and Neptune. Which bay will that? No, nope, there you go, Neptune. Neptune's not gonna win. Who knows? It'll be fun to see who will actually win. Oh. Battle one. So let's get started. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, let's, let's just go. All right, let's go. Fire Phoenix. Yay. All right, it's attacking. Flame uh, Dragon King. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, now we got the lights. All right, awesome. We got the lights and it just looks so cool. Man, the bays are just clashing with epicness. Ah! Mission battle? There, there we go. Custom opponent. So let's just mess around. Fantanius. Oh, Orpheus! Orpheus! Bet. Alright, hold on. Bet. Okay. I don't even know if these are the correct parts, but I'm freaking out. Well, let's just say this is the combo because I can't remember off the top of my head. There we go. Okay, this is what I was trying to find. So as you can see, it's organized where it can show all of your bays. It can show specifically just um, balance, defense, stamina, or attack. We're just going to go with the elemental Valtra Ek uh, for now. Valtra Ek too. I'm excited. Okay, you can select other stadiums. I do have to um, scan a lot of codes on this account because uh, I use uh, the account that's on my father's phone. But we'll on um, his Android phone. So we're just going to do a basic babe. I'm excited. Okay, that's Orpheus. We saw it at Hascon before, but now we're seeing the actual app. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I also have to scan a lot of codes. Okay, get ready. Uh, we'll just go. Uh, I'm going to be Orpheus. And I'm pretty sure Tyros is going to be there too. Guaranteed. Perfect launch. <sighs> Elemental Valtria just looks so cool. Okay, we're battling against Orpheus. We're attacking it. We're going to beat it. All right, let's just do this. Yeah, come on. Okay, it's pushing against Orpheus. Let's see if we can get a special attack. We're probably not going to be able to wrap a attack, I mean. It's close. 
I want to see if we can just get our avatar attack on it. And we'll see if we can make it burst. And boop. Ah, so close. Didn't burst, but we did defeat it. Okay, round one. All right, I beat Orpheus once. I, I'm, I, I just had no idea. I am very excited to bring news to all of you Burst fans. So Sunrise have officially announced Gen Bay, Generation Beyblade. It's an online campaign and it was made specifically for you Beyblade Burst fans. See the shirt, Beyblade Burst? I'm a fan. It was made for me, made for you, made for everyone. If you're a fan of the show, if you're a fan of just the base, if you're a fan of the characters, balls, people like that, base like that, this was made for you. So Gen Bay is like an online community. You can sign up by going to www.facebook.com slash official Gen Bay. Sign up through there to get amazing burst content. But we didn't even explain what kind of burst content you will be able to see there. So on this online community slash campaign, some awesome stuff you get to score if you sign up is to see new products, um, sneak peeks, uh, clips for upcoming episodes, and even exclusive giveaways for awesome Bailey Burst swag. Some other stuff you can sign up for when you go to this online uh, camp. Hey you there, stop! Don't buy this fake zillion Zeus! So now we'll be comparing uh, the boxes right off the bat. So this one right here is the fake. This one, this one right here is the actual authentic product. The obvious difference is that the authentic box is much more taller than the actual fake one. Uh, the fake one has SB. I'm, I'm guessing SB just stands for super bad or something, to be honest. It doesn't have any Takara Tommy logo. It doesn't have the actual burst system dual layer. It doesn't have any of those other mini logos on there. You can actually see that compared to the authentic product, to the fake one, it's much more saturated in how it looks. Like it's the same image, per se, but it's a lot more uh, saturated in its appearance. Like the contrast is a little bit more. Just to show the sides for both. Yeah, it's more or less the same thing. Taller, shorter, look, more saturation on it. For the back, actually for the back, it's sort of close. Actually, no, okay. I'll point this out. Do so you remember how I said they didn't have any of the logos of the burst system or anything like that? They have it on the back. They don't have it on the front. So the, this one right now we're looking at is the fake one. If you look at the real one, it says the special ability of the layer, but it doesn't have those extra logos. So for whatever reason, they just decided for the back just to leave those logos there. Then after it's like more or less the same thing with the text, except for the bottom part. It's a little bit different in the position too for what certain things are shown. You can see there's all these uh, warnings and things. The rest, it's all in Japanese. There's no like uh, CE, please recycle. It's just, what is, it's just that, you know, it's just like all these English warnings. Well, not all English, but mostly English. Uh, that's sort of the differences between just the boxes themselves. So we're gonna first show what's actually inside of the fake box and I'll explain when you actually look inside of it how the packaging is with the... It's Rip Fire Kirby, so you might uh, grab one or two. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, Bay Locker, Rip Fire Surprise, and so they got a lot of Rip Fire here. Very, because Rip Fire is a little bit hard to find. Uh, eight packs and two packs. Can't believe we found it. Yeah, Avatar set, but it's not there. Uh, We'll probably just uh, grab two of these. I think it's a pretty successful hunting. <laughs> we got this. So that pretty much does it for the recap. Going to be very exciting uh, this week for what I'm going to be uploading. Another Spin Fighters battle. Keep your eye on it. It's going to be really exciting. Some new awesome stuff uh, the week after that with the stadium, the random booster, a lot of burst stuff just coming out. That pretty much does it for this video. 
I hope you subscribe to this channel for more awesome burst news and for more awesome burst battles, burst giveaways, huntings, etc. You name it. Like the video if you haven't already. If you already are subscribed, make sure you click that bell to notify of our uploads. And as always, I hope you have an awesome burst-filled day.